Welcome back people, we've got some more seven days to die for you guys here again today. I'm going to be busy today. We're in the middle of a blood moon, but anyway, we are going to make the cement mixer. So to make the cement mixer, we need an engine, which is what I found from wrenching a car. We also need mechanical parts, which I got from wrenching shopping trolleys. And then we got some springs as well. That you also get from wrenching cars. We also need some of this, which is forger iron. So to make that, you need clay, which you can get from little grey spots on the map, which I will show you real quick. I'm pretty sure some of you already know this, but for those who don't, let's have a quick look for little grey spots. So little grey spots here. This is where you can get clay. You can get that anywhere on the map, clay. So you need clay and you also need iron. Now iron you can get from, again, wrenching cars. You can also get it from hitting metal things. You can also get it from concrete blocks, which is how I have got it. And then to make it, you come here to the forge. And in the forge, um, let's have a look here. So there, forge iron. <clears throat> and then we can make that with iron and clay. Now, we do have a playlist of seven days to die now. So um, if you want to know how to make the forge or anything else, you can always check out that playlist. Anytime I do live streams, I'll always use the face camera mic, but for videos, I randomly hit record, and that's how we get those good video clips. Again, you need a workbench to make the cement mixer. And again, how to make that, we've done other videos on it. I'm going to need those bullets in a minute because uh, <laughs> we are going to be heading outside. What's that there? So we can make a hunting knife, but we don't want to do that. So we type in CEM to make the cement mixer. There it is. So to make it, we need 25 forge iron, four springs, one small engine and mechanical parts which I have all of that, so we're going to craft that up. That's going to take two minutes. If you look here, look at that. That's what I need. I need that. To get that, we need the cement mixer. I've been busy with the guns now. Look at that. We've got some serious ammo going on. We've got quite a few guns built up now. Not the very highest levels of guns, but um, i got that pistol there still. I haven't lost it. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's pretty handy, this pistol. And it's lasted quite a long time, so it's quite a high level. I think the highest they go up to, if I can remember, I think is level 600, I think. I can't remember. Let's go and drop off some of our loot here, because I don't need any of it on us. So as you can see, I've already started to turn this base into metal. Then after metal, we're going to turn it into the, the concrete blocks. So it's going to take a short minute to do it, but... We're going to get it done, so let's put the springs back there and the mechanical parts. And then, okay, that needs to go down in the gun safe here. We've been busy building this base. If you want to see the build process again, you can check out our playlist. We also show other new games, old games, and pre order games, so I can give you a better reason to hit that subscribe button than that. If you've got any comments, do leave it in the comment section below. I do try my best to respond to every single comment. And of course, drop a like if you're still enjoying seven days to die. So we got we got 20 seconds left on that. That's good. It's uh, it's been a short minute since I, I've made a cement mixer, but I forgot what makes it. So to make the actual cement, we need stone. I think it is. There's cement. Yeah, is all we need is stone. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly cancel, no, let's cancel it in this one, because I've got more going on in this one. Right, let's quickly cancel that. So we've got cement there. I can make a serious amount of cement. Two and a half thousand. That's gonna take me 47 minutes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a little short minute, but anyway. Let's grab our cement mixer put it down there. I've forgotten how we get this up and running. I could put it, oh yeah, well, I might as well put it in here. 
I was going to put it outside, but um, there we go. Okay, so we need a concrete mix. So to make a concrete mix, we need sand. We need small stones and the cement. So I'm making the cement now. So we need sand. So to make sand, we need stone. Oh, believe me, look at this, the iron. I've been on the iron hunt for sure. <laughs> Alright, so we can make sand. And then... Um, let's just make a little bit of sand for a moment. Just like that. Oh, wow, it makes it real quick. Oh, wow. Yeah, I probably ain't gonna need... Probably ain't gonna need that much sand. Okay, so we need sand, stone and cement. So I'm going to let that make some sand for a moment. If we come over here, we can now grab our cement. We can come over to here. So we need stone and sand. So I'm going to quickly cancel that for a moment. We can also make gravel now. Um, so concrete mix. There you go. Oh, wrong one. There you go. Well, the concrete mix actually does make it pretty quick, to be honest. I, didn't, I thought it was going to take a, a little bit longer than that. So I'm going to need crushed... Um, is it sand or crushed sand? Crushed sand. Okay, so I'm going to need to make a ton of that. So I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to make all of that after the... Wow! <laughs> One hour, 33 minutes and 57 seconds. That's all right. I'm not in too much of a rush for that anyway, so that's all right. All right, we're gonna make, wait for this to make up real quick, and then I'm gonna show you the reason why I want this concrete mix. What's the time? Four, four in the morning. We'll have a look outside in a minute and see what's happened for this blood moon. So I'm not gonna show every single blood moon, but I'm gonna obviously show some of them of me shooting but then there's other times like now well I'm not really bothered about the blood moon I'm just doing my thing uh, we're almost done here yeah, there we go so I'm gonna let that sand make up I'm gonna show you the process of how it works so First off, we need some wood, which I have wood already on me. <coughs> then we're going to make a wooden frame. And then we're going to need a little bit of iron here. Let's grab that. So this is how it works. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. This is why I wanted the cement mixer. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to break out this block here on purpose. Uh, well, I could have used that wooden frame, doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got wood frame there. So, if we go to our wood frame, we place that down, we get a hammer, which is here, or we can make a stone axe. I don't have the materials for a stone axe on me. But for a stone axe, it takes wood, plant fibres and stone. You can either use a hammer or a stone axe, but it is a lot quicker using a hammer, so that's what I'm going to use. So we put down our wooden frame there, and then we need more wood to reinforce it like that. And then after we need iron, which does that, and then we need the concrete that does that. And then that. That's some serious damage there. Now look at this one. That wood is 200. Look at that. 1,500. Now to break through that, 1,500, we're going to break it. Gonna so take a little moment there. There you go. And then there you go. So it does. It, yeah, <laughs> as you can see, it does take a short minute to break it. But of course, for the zombies, it would take a lot longer than that. Mine, obviously, my crafting skill is a lot better. But um, yeah, for the zombies, it would take a short minute for the zombies to to get through that. So that is why. As you can see there, you need more concrete. So there's a process of doing it. Of course, you can just make the cobble frames or the metal frames and speed up your process, but I've done it this way. And the reason why is because as I'm processing through the game, 
I want to see how far I can get. Now, the furthest I've ever got is close to day 200, but I've always given up because I always end up showing other new old and pre-ordered games. But this time, I'm dedicating myself to this game, Seven Days to Die, and that is exactly why I made a playlist. So, I'm going to keep on building. Um, the next video is what I'm going to do, is we're going to do a building video, and that's going to be, I'm going to have a ton of the concrete mix already done, and I'm also going to have a ton more of the iron, and then that way we can turn everything into metal, then everything into the concrete. So it's going to, it's going to be a little bit of a, little bit of a slow process, as you can see there, iron, <laughs> we definitely need a ton more of iron, that's for sure. But uh, I'm going to work on that. I'm definitely going to get an insane amount more because that's not even going to be close to, to what I need. But that's the concrete mix. Mixer, mix, yeah. Um, mixer, there you go. Cement mixer. <laughs> concrete mixer. <laughs> Cement mixer. Yeah. Keep an eye out for the next video. We're going to be upgrading this whole entire base or at least this house at minimum. Let's have a quick look outside, see what's around, see if there was any good loot out there. So I put vault doors everywhere, which if you haven't seen our other videos, we, we already made those. Again, you could look through the playlist and everything will be there that you, you need to see. Oh, the blood moon's still going. Let's have a look up here. So we built this wall all the way around the base. Oh, I can't see anything. All the trees are in my way. We've got a few zombies there. I'm going to go around and pick up all the loot in a moment. Oh, these, these trees are just not just not doing the... Let me get rid of them. Break them out real quick. <coughs> so yeah, I've, uh, I've come across a few different towns. We live near a town. And the town that we live near doesn't have any shops but I have found a, sh a town with shops now and I'm going to keep obviously going back to that one and keep on looting them but of course I've got to wait for it to come back. There is a lot of radiation that I've noticed on this map. I seem to be around quite a lot of radiation so I need to get the radiation suit which I've been working on. We've got some parts for it but there's still um, I think the legs, I've got the gloves, I've got the boots, I've got the jacket. I think I've got the hat, I'm pretty sure I have, so yeah, I just need the legs and then hopefully we can go to the radiation now. For the radiation, I've never actually been in the radiation zone ever on seven days did I, so I'm interested to, to see if the loot there is better, which I'm guessing it should be, but only time will tell. Let me get rid of these. I really should have got rid of these before. They are definitely in my way. So the reason why I do this, as I've mentioned before, on seven days to die, wood is always going to be a resource that you need no matter what. You're always going to need a ton of wood. And that is why I keep putting so many trees around, inside the base, outside the base, around the base. You'll see when I get up, get up on top, that there's so many trees around. It's like we're, there's like, yeah, it's like a proper, proper forest. <laughs> but, uh, to get, to get all these trees down, that's easy enough. You just chop them down, and every time you chop them down, you'll get seeds. And most of the time, you get two. You see there, I got two. And then it's all I do is I just replant them back down, just put them back down. Um, that one, is that one in my way? Yeah, I guess it is a little bit. Break it out. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Having the chainsaw has made a big difference. We do have a chainsaw. I managed to find that going in the snow. We're just looking for the, uh, the auger part, the auger blade. And I didn't manage to find that, but we did find a chainsaw, and that helped me get a ton of wood insanely fast. Now, by getting all of that wood, is what I have done, is I have reinforced our actual house with wood. Whereas if before, it was just the standard 
wood house you manage to find around places. You've got a little garage there as well, but I ain't really not really that bothered about the garage being forced in that to be honest because I don't think we're really gonna be using it. Well, I'm gonna show you the the house here, the whole entire house. Oh, I can't even show you, I've got too many trees. Bubbles, man, come on. But yeah, I've reinforced the whole entire <laughs> the the yeah, the house. <laughs> I've reinforced it. Let's get this one out of the way. Alright, so we're near eight o'clock. I know that eight o'clock. I thought it was four, then I thought it was five, then six, but uh, eight o'clock is when it's completely over the blood moon. So to make the cement mixer as well, you do need skill points that requires 30 skill points to, to unlock it. Which I already did do that. Let's get this one out of the way. I will show you the cement part in a moment for the skill points. Give me a sec. I need to get rid of this one here as well. And I think now we're finally going to be able to see. Now, if this was a blood moon that I'm going to be shooting, I definitely, 100%, I definitely would have got rid of these trees first. But because I planned on just doing my own thing rather than having a big shootout, I did not bother to get rid of these trees. So maybe I just, I'm not going to bother to put them as close in future. Probably not a good idea because I just cannot physically see anything. <clears throat> Alright, this one and then this one here and then the one next to it and then we're finally going to be able to see. There we go. Well, actually, is that one behind there? Yeah, no, that one needs to go, because that's blocking my path above. Oh, no, I really... <laughs> I'm not going to put those trees back there. Lesson learned. I'm not putting those trees back there. No, I'm not doing it. No way. And this one here is going to eventually be in my way, so let's get rid of that one as well. There we go. So we built all of these walls ourselves. Okay, so if we press square, we come along to skill point by pressing R1. And then in here, the we can unlock the cement mixer, which is, if we can find it, uh, is it there? Nope, not that one. Not, it wouldn't be under clothes. There you go, tools and tips, cement mixer, that costs 30 points. Yeah, 30 points to unlock that, so not a cheap thing to do but we we definitely do need it so that's why i got it um what else should we do now we got five uh you know what there's not even much point is there so we put all of these spikes around we built this wall and we put spikes on the wall as well so that's the end of the blood moon let's have a look around the base real quick we'll go out and collect some some loot from the zombies that have... Okay, so there's some there. Sounds like there's still a few around that... Ooh, getting hit on spikes. But right, I'm going to keep the gun in my hand. Just because I am expecting a few zombies to be around still. Slowly. 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 There we go. Oh yeah, there's a few zombies around. Alright, let's... Have a look, see what stuff they left for me. A leather duster there, that's not actually a bad duster, that one, to be honest. Let's have a look. Some them all. Yeah, good old shams. You can never, ever find enough of those shams. Can I repair that one? There you go. So I'm just going to basically look all around the boat real quick. I will replace the spikes back at some point before the next blood moon, probably. Let's just have a run all the way around. 
make sure there's no, no loot. I don't want to miss any loot. And those zombies come sometimes on blood moons. Those zombies hold some insanely great loot. So let's just run all the way around. I don't even need to shoot at this point because I've got so many. I've got so many spikes around. Some duct tape. The spikes are taking care of the zombies for me. But of course I am going to be shooting on some of the blood moons because otherwise it's going to damage so many of these spikes that it's going to be very time consuming trying to find it. <clears throat> trying to find wood. Well, I'm not trying to find it but keep on gathering wood. Wood's not my main priority at the moment. Some more sham. Always keep a hammer on you or a stone axe so then that way you can always repair your spike after. You got anything good for me? Nothing. No one. Not the best of loot then by the looks of it. <laughs> Unless there's anything good in these last couple of zombies, I don't really see that there was very good loot. Some more sham. Well, they definitely tried making their way through this part, didn't they? Rotten flesh. Nothing in that one. A hoodie, a bit of paper. Feather. Good old sham. Well, the best we got out of that was some sandwiches. Some mouldy sandwiches. That's alright though, because I was getting a little bit low on those. How many have we got now? 25. That's alright. Alright. Oh, okay, another one there. Let's have a quick look. Some more shams and a hat. Oh, there's a few more. I thought that was it. Another hoodie. I don't really need the hoodies, but I, I will scrap them just for the cloth. Nothing there. Some more paper. I going to say, you've got a long way in there. <laughs> That's the way we walk in. Alright, I think that really is it. That's the last one. There you go. Let's get rid of that one. Yeah, that, that is it. There you go. Wow. Not the very best of loot, but then I didn't, I didn't stand there and shoot. It's still free loot. <clears throat> you can't say no to free loot, can you? Let's close that, close that one. So I've got to go out and obviously gather a ton more of iron. That's something I definitely got to do. So put that in there. Put all our food in there. I don't really need to take any of that with me. Rotten flesh, get rid of that. Glass, we don't need that. Um, they're actually quite high level though. But I'm going to scrap it anyway because I don't need it. Scrap all of that. I don't bother to keep feathers, don't need them. We've got a little bit of duct tape there. So as you can see there, the maple seeds, that's what's going to regrow our trees back, but I don't actually at this point need to do that. We've got plenty. So wood, wood, wood. And more wood. There we go. So, 31 shams. Let's eat one. They do drain your stamina, but they are absolutely awesome for for making you full. We're going to drink quite a bit of water. Okay, so that's going to be pretty much it for this one. Keep an eye out for the next one. I've got a ton of iron to gather, and I'm going to need a ton more stones. And I'm also going to need to make a crazy amount of that cement. That's going to take a, a short minute as well. Okay, they are making iron. So I can make some more cement in there as well. Uh, cement, there you go. It's going to take a short minute as well. One hour, two minutes and 45 seconds. And I'll leave that going. All right, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Keep an eye out for the next one coming very soon. we we'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.